Well, as I say in the building trades, if you're not early, you're late. So. You still got a couple minutes to start on time. If I wait until 6 30, I'll be late. Where the Mississippi water rolls along beneath the soft riverbank slows down over the rain of the rock. Granite City, set the sun, granite walls, prison wall. But I rarely met a quarry man in the city there at all. Now the red and broken snow. Lies along the railroad track. Forty days are gone, the boy is there. Never come back and still that Pulley gives a groan, and the engine gives a roar. Scares the soul. Forty stone in Grand City anymore. All the rain and the blasting used to end. The day men went down into the pits, they cut the stone away, and there were barges on the river and the train tracks that led to the builders in the city, hogging off the St. Cloud Red. And still that red and broken stone flies along the railroad track. Four days have gone, boys, never coming back, and still that pulley gives a groan, and the engine gives a roar, scarce a soul, for his stone in Red City anymore. Cause that was long ago, time has moved along, best stones all been taken. The industry's moved on, and what we've got left here, it isn't like back then. They got new machines to do the work of 50 men. Still that red and broken stone lies along the railroad track. Forty days have gone, boys in there, never coming back, and still that bully gives a groan. Engine gives her all the scarce of soul for his stone in Granite City anymore.
That was a song I wrote shortly after moving to the Twin Cities uh, from the St. Cloud area. I came down looking for work. And uh, it's kind of, uh, I think, indicative of what most of my, my songs are about. I do a lot of uh, grappling with uh, the issues of the Rust Belt, the farm crisis, and kind of the world that I was uh, born into following both of those sort of events and processes happen. And then all the consequences of that, that being how people deal with that economic decline, how people deal with the changing identity that industrial kind of transformation gives us, and, and all the monsters and the reactionaries and the uh, resentments that are bred out of that, how to resist those things. I'm sure all of y'all who are uh, organizers and activists from the Central Minnesota are quite familiar with that. Thank you for all the work you do. Upcoming uh, album that I'll be recording most of this weekend deals with a lot of those themes. It's called Rust Belt Ballads, so that'll be out probably this spring. And uh, if you're interested in hearing some of my earlier work, I've got an album, uh, a little band called The Wooden Shoe Ramblers. I could have sworn that I had a pick when I was somewhere. There we go. But anyway, shortly after I moved to Twin Cities, though, I wrote this other song. Both uh, formative labor strikes here in Twin Cities. This work has been hard enough. I'm walking on the line in the kitchen and in front of me it also served time. Four months now we've been striking. The teamsters and the rest, four months now we've been striking. But they haven't beat us yet. So rise up for the union, don't give way to gloom. Catch here the march of feet, they beat out their doom. All oh, here young ones crying, neither sign nor pie. Serving in the war, they said there's work for every hand. You never need be poor, but the women found a stand. Has to work beside the wall, and there's scarce enough to go around to keep a home at all. So rise up for the union, don't give way to gloom. Can't you hear the marching feet? They're beating out their doom. All oh, here, young ones crying, neither sign or pine. We'll see the times get better when we hold that picket line. City cops as well, who shot down as in bail or out on the market way. I wish I had a rifle, I would give them all the same. Rise up for the union, don't get away to go. Catch here the march and feed their feet out there, doing all here the almost riot. Need a sign of our pie. We'll see the times get better when we hold that picket line. Just going to pass down. Stores are getting thin. Each passing on is coming on. We're closer to the wind. No legion vigilantes and no scabs anymore. We'll burn our 
ourselves a union town this year at 34. So rise up for the union, don't get away to gloom. Can't you hear the marching feet that's beating out their doom? All here comes flying, neither sign or pine. We'll see the times get better when we hold that picket line. This wasn't on the set list, but as I was playing the, uh, the song, I remember a funny little anecdote about that song. When I had uh, first written that, I uh, played at the Joe Hill 100 rugby show that was coming through town to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Joe Hill's execution. And uh, no, it's, it's kind of great being a, a late folk singer uh, right now because uh, this decade, like the next two decades, all the 100th anniversaries and all the really cool stuff that the labor movement uh, did happens. So. Uh, and if we were awesome, we could get back to doing stuff like that. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, but or this song. I don't think very many people are aware that the song you just did was happened in 1934 in that. Oh, yeah. 47 people were right, right, yeah, killed yeah. in Minneapolis. Uh, oh, well, I mean, two people were killed on Bloody Friday, but yeah. Oh, it was more than yeah. seven, sorry. No, no. Uh, I mean, a number of people were killed uh, over the course of the strike. But, uh, well, that was the, the Teamster strike of 1934. You see, uh, prior to that strike, if you tried to organize a union in Minneapolis, uh, you would be instantly swamped with uh, police spies, Citizens Alliance spies, which was a union against unions, so to speak. Uh, and they uh, were very quick to suppress any, any labor organizing in the city of Minneapolis. So um, the Teamsters local, which at that time uh, was heavily influenced by members of the Socialist Workers' Party, um, went on a very militant strike, actually two very militant strikes over the course of 1934, and broke the back of the Citizens Alliance, essentially allowing uh, labor organizing in the Twin Cities to happen. It was a very violent, very bloody strike. Um, and it was because of strikes like that that the federal government passed the National Labor Relations Act in order to um, take labor struggle and put it into a framework uh, kind of mediated by the law uh, so that the militant strikes would stop happening. Essentially, they legalized strikes and gave us a legal pathway to have labor disputes when the previous way of solving labor struggles, which was clubs in the street, um, wasn't going in their favor and the workers started winning. <laughs> now, we, uh, I'd written that song and we had uh, submitted it to the committee to uh, commemorate 1934. They were putting on a plaque at the site of Bloody Friday, which was the massacre. And uh, at first they approved the uh, song, but then I got word they wanted to censor all my verses. The, uh, the verse started, those Citizens Alliance boys got them all the hell. Apparently the, uh, the idea that workers who've just been shot by the police might want to uh, take revenge on the police, which was in fact uh, drawn from quotes by the workers immediately after that event, offended the sensibilities of some of the uh, people in charge of the commemoration. So we censored the, the song beautifully, and then uh, afterwards, my friend Ben Eggerman, who was playing with me, he was a part-time UPSer, uh, Teamster member, and he had been part of a rank and file campaign to address how the, uh, the Teamster union at that time was not really taking care of the UPS workers. And he got up and he, uh, he dedicated this next song to the officers in his uh, union local. And uh, I gotta say, after that, I didn't get invited to play another AFL CIO event for about three or four years, but I'm, I'm finally playing them again now, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the company's so good to me, there's no more Reds in the union. I'm as respectable as can be, there's no more Reds in the union. The company to me seems fair, they work me late, but I don't care. My kids complain that I'm not there, there's no more reds in the union. I'm paid the lowest wage on earth, there's no more reds in the union. I'm paid exactly what I worth, there's no more reds in the union. Company, he seems fair, but they still work me late. And I still don't care, I'm old, but my friends complain that I'm not there. There's no more reds in the union. We never talk about workers' rights. There's no more reds in the union. 
They tell us that it leads to fights. There's no more reds in the union. Our leadership has always said that folks who talk like that are red. So we listen to the boss instead. There's no more reds in the union. Each year we have a swell affair. There's no more reds in the union. The bosses and their friends are there. There's no more reds in the union. They give us brats, they give us beer, but one thing to me seems unclear. Why do we eat this well just once a year? There's no more reds in the union. We've got a union that brags about preventing strikes. There's no more reds in the union. And they leave the boss to do as they like. There's no more reds in the union. And if these sellouts hold the keys, and all they want is labor peace, then how will we ever slay the beast with no more reds in the union? I ask you, if these sellouts hold the keys, and all they want is labor peace, then how will we ever slay the beast with no more reds in the union? Jimmy Hoffa Jr.'s right-hand man was on stage next. He didn't look too happy about that. Right. So. I'll drink the hell that we 
great friends of labor we have up in the uh, Congress and the White House and all that stuff, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we uh, performed that song first time live as the Wooden Shoe Ramblers at a benefit show for the railroad workers that were being uh, blamed, well, railroaded, forgive the pun, uh, for the accident. Uh, even though those same rail workers had heroically attempted to prevent the accident, even driven their locomotive into the uh, burning town to pull oil cars out of it, risking their lives to save potentially hundreds of others. But they were blamed anyway. And after we did that song, after we did that uh, show, we started doing a lot of different shows in the Wooden Shoe Ramblers, doing benefit concerts to raise legal fees for people. People have been persecuted some time before. I want to dedicate this to everyone who's in prison tonight. For fighting for what they believe in, for fighting systems of authority, for rebelling. Well, hey there, did you hear the news? Sacker worked at trimming shoes. He said he was a traveling man. Put the fish caught with his hands as to the man a long time gone. Sacker went and said he are gone. To the man a long time gone. They left me here to sing this song. Well, Sacker was born across the sea, somewhere over in Italy. Said he was born of parents by death. Drink the best Italian wine. And Sacker sailed to sea one day. He wound up in the Boston Bay. Said he sailed the ocean blue. He wound up in Boston too. There's two good men a long time gone. Sacker went and said he are gone. Two good men a long time gone. They left me here to sing this song. And Sacco was a family man, Sacco's wife three children had, and said he was a reading man, his books were always in his hand. Sacco earned his bread and butter, being the factory's best shoe cutter, but said he worked both day and night, taught the workers how to fight this two good man a long time gone. Sacco went and said he are gone, two good man a long time gone. They left me here to sing their song And I'll tell you if you ask me About that payroll robbery Two clerks shot down that shoe factory On a street in South Grain Tree And I'll tell you the prosecutor's names Patrick Adams, Williams, Kane That man the judge with the best of friends Done more tricks than circus clowns The judge they are told his friends around he would put those rebels down. Anarchist bastards was the name the judge gave these two fine men. Two good men, a long time gone. Sacco and said he are gone. Two good men, a long time gone. Oh, they left me here to sing this song. Last case, got time to tell my tale. It's cops and bulls are on my trail. But I'll remember these two fine men who died to show me how to live. So all you people in South Green Tree, come along and sing with me. And all of you who are here tonight, let's sing along and let's get it right. There's two good men a long time gone. Sacco and the Zeddy are gone. Two good men a long time gone. They let me here to sing this song. 
you're not going to raise the dead saying like that. It's <laughs> about Minnesota audiences, you know, they don't sing long. Remember one time a uh, story my father told me Jesse Jackson came up during the farm crisis? Like Bismarck? Trying to get a call and response going with the audience? <laughs> Who grows the food that feeds this country? Norwegian bachelor farmers kind of nodded sternly, which was a, a powerful show of emotion for me. <laughs> I'm just going to keep finger picking this until I get to sing along. Let's so. try it again. We need the words. <laughs> oh man, not everyone remembers the words of Jesus. Well, okay, if you can't remember the words, we'll try it. And if not, we'll just muddle through it together. We can sing in the key of the people if we have to. The key is deep. Well, there's two good men a long time gone. Sad when they are gone. Two good men a long time gone. They let me hear you sing this song one more time. There's two good men a long time gone. Sad when they are gone. Two good men a long time gone. They let me hear you sing this song. Sometimes you gotta sing songs about the overdogs. And um, so I, I wrote this little song dedicated to uh, the captains of industry who uh, rule over all the uh, systems of production above us and all the wonderful things they do with the surplus value of our labor, like uh, building giant phallic rockets to launch themselves into space. And you know, I support that. I think they should go there. That'd be great. So. <laughs> Oh, high above the world, there's a billion dollar race. Oh, to see which robber Baron will be first to buy in space. Oh, to see which robber Baron will be first to buy in space. We've gone beyond electric cars, there's three more dicks among the stars. They ought to be the first on Mars, it's true. But when they reach the hell of space and cut the line back to the station, let them stay on their vacation to Ralu. Now Bronx and Rose can blast off on the silos worth more. To Ralu, 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 just to get a better picture of our world as it grows. To Ralu, 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 Some malcontents might drive a wedge and ask what happened to his pledge to rid us of the fuel of his own doom. Although it's slow and barren fruit, he's got the issue by the root. He'll do it by reducing it to fumes. And he's also had a vision as he floated in the stars. He thanks all of you peasants who have made this way this far. For he's witnessed a solution to industrial pollution. We'll move all the production to the moon. To incite the loon and come into the loo. Musk has got a blueprint or a special Martian vault. To build his Tesla somewhere that the union cannot salt. But since he's learned that Mars is red, he's built a rocket full of lead. He'll kill them commies all dead, white, and blue. If he goes and we don't mind, let him work an asteroid mine. Just leave our lithium behind, no to do. If the state put these men's taxes like they rock for me and you, oh, to We could end the damn pandemic and explore the cosmos too. 
But since the space race privatized, we've been forced to economize. A rocket to the sun we cannot do. If they want to be an astronaut, the only flight plan that we got is gel ignite propulsion to relive. They say folk music can't uh, adapt to the modern age. Right. Yeah. Let's do that. This is a song I wrote back in college and only became dated, I think, uh, last year. A Johnny old friend went roaming too long. If you did, nothing from his come through. Did you get the last package? Boys and I sent you and the rest of your crew. You and I weren't yet middle school boys Back when the long war began So Johnny come home From the Hindu Kush And the red hills of Afghanistan I remember the day When you first flew away How you looked like a prince among men In the time you came back Before you got called up again Then we watched you all fly up into the sky To the pride and the pomp of the band Now Johnny came home Hindu Kush and the red hills of Afghanistan And the general speeches say it's all going well. Train the locals to fight once you're gone. Ah, oh, but ain't the same they were saying back then when your dad took the boat from Saigon. Still, the papers all say we'll be out any day. It all goes according to plan. Johnny can home. Hindu Kush and the red hills of Afghanistan. And the dust in the rock your boot, where the Britons and the Russians have tread, and it echoes the walls of the Khyber Pass, we've marked with our living and dead. Since Celestin's army fell back and the Mac, they've been held to by no foreign hand. Christ Johnny come home from the Hindu Kush and the Red Hills of Afghanistan. Now the spring has come in, all the girls are out there taking their nights on town. We can't have a song, we can't raise a glass without our boy Johnny around. Salon and Spingar, long road around Latavan. So Johnny come home, Hindu Kush and the red hills of Afghanistan.
a bazooki for now. The funny thing about that instrument is uh, Donald Lunny went to Greece sometime in uh, the 60s, found a uh, perfectly good Greek instrument that he played melodic lead on, decided to change the shape of the body, add another chorus of strings, completely change the tuning, change the way it's used in the instrument, as an instrument. I uh, brought it back to Ireland called the Celtic bazooki and overlooked the fact that we have about five different instruments in Western Europe that are functionally the same thing. Um, now Don Olani is upset that uh, every time he listens to Irish music, he can't avoid the sound of his bazooki. <laughs> no good deed goes to punish. I've had a surreal experience this winter um, building corporate law offices downtown as a carpenter, and then on my way to and from work passing uh, giant homeless encampments of people that are being forcibly evicted by the MPD and they are afraid. Um, this is not a new thing in this town. The capitalist class wants to convince you to bust your ass all day and be exploited by them. They need to make sure that you can't just live wherever you want and be free of harassment. The working class is constituted through violence, and that violence is the enclosure of common spaces. Anyway, I thought about that when I was writing this song. Wind in downtown Minneapolis creeps along over the snow. Blew the white flags from the sidewalk under the hotel windows low. The red truck dashed into the city, tore through the night with a bell. The flames tumbled higher, bore the ash from the fire that gutted the Drake Hotel. Oh, mama, your baby is crying. She's crying for something to eat. She's wrapping herself in a coat too big. She's crying for lack of the heat. We sleep on the bridges and byways. We sleep on the park bench or bus. The condos we build will never be filled. The shelter's for assets, not us. Who tried to blow on the whistle? And who swept it into the dark? These projects are waiting for fixing. Like a tinderbox waits for a spark. From the ramshackle gas line explosion to the tower fire on the West Bank. We knew that this town was slow burning down before the cops put the match to the tank. Walk by the camps on the greenway. Tell me who is deserving or not. Go walk by the cranes and the scaffold. Tell me who's gonna live in that lot. Go walk through the rooms and the rubble and answer me if you can tell which pile of stones and burnt rebar bones was once the drain hotel. Which pile of stones and burnt rebar bones was once the great hotel. Now that we're all in a A minor. Cheery. <laughs> Let's try that sing along theme again. <laughs> I see the problem before I was having you sing along in a major key, and that's not the it's too, it's too joyful. We're serious people here, so. Oh, come on, it's winter. Come gather, fellow workers. Good news to you, I'll tell. How the dear old union has come in here to dwell. Oh, which side are you on? 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 My daddy was a miner, and I'm a miner's son. I'll be with you, fellow workers. 
until this battle's won. Which side are you on? 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 Oh, workers, can you stand it? Come tell me how you can. Will you be a lousy scab or will you take a stand? Which side are you on? 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 They say in Harlan County there are no neutrals there. You're either with the Union or a thug for J.H. Blair. Which side are you on? 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 <laughs> I went to St. John's University and I got myself a degree in environmental science policy, which I'm now using very well by being a carpenter. Taking butchered trees and making office blocks out of them. But it pays. The ecology factory wasn't high end. <laughs> I worked in nonprofit scene for a while. This is honest. <laughs> but um, I'd written a song that was uh, a decade by decade history of American agricultural policy. It was about 20 verses long. And then I realized that, that was a pretty terrible song. Uh, like really, even by my standards, that was like really, really excessive. <laughs> so one day I did a lot of Kratom and I wrote this song instead. Because editing, you know, is easy. When you can't sleep. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Combine is a war machine, widest yet I ever seen. They said, get big or get out, and they weren't lying. Plant to harvest, life is filled, making ends meet at the mill. Getting out is just the same as dying. We plant these fields like a golden seed, a fish for corn, or subsidies, feed it all into the silos by the trap. You keep it going day by day, that river cuts the land away, rain digs out the soil deep and black, long as the levees hold it back. And my father, you got two hands at your dill, one you give freely, where the neighbor falls behind. And the other you will press like a secret to your chest So when the plant was out, he never crossed the line But he said, it's yours, is yours, and mine is mine My great-grandpa was a refugee Came here from the old country Came the police were barking at his heels In the city or on the land Either way, you live it by your hands Either way, the rich man finds a way to steal but it's a cavalry course, killing the floor, stolen in the Indian War. Arrowheads still come up with clouds. 
So we had built a cabin out of sod and a rugged cross to a murdered god to bless the crop the sweat from off his brow. You get nothing without more blood than he had. God was a carpenter. He built man just for the shepherds. He was a shepherd. Trying to lead his flock to fold. Now the Romans on the rails and these prices are the nails and they crucify us on a cross of gold. They crucify us on the cross of gold. Corners on the auction block, man by land he'll never walk. Another farm is falling through the cracks. Boom to boom and bust to bust, everyone does as they must. Anything you're given can't be taken back. Cause you each grow more, the grain gets cheaper. Cost gets higher, debts get steeper. Each auction is a player quit the game. The kids look to us and the sights are fixed onto the city lights and the moth that pass the night into the flame. His life's already burned, so who's to blame? And the grass whispers the memories of a prairie. And the glass offers confessions from the rye. Waiting for the sun to set, but it hasn't got there yet. Watch it sink in the cornfields like rice. Blood, God knows, has been the sacrifice. Like I was saying earlier, a lot of my uh, music in this upcoming album, Rust Belt Ballads, deals with the farm crisis and the industrialization all the consequences of that. And you know, sometimes we tell that story about the Midwest, or you tell it from the left or from the right people, often portray folks from the rural Midwest and blue-collar workers as kind of these passive victims of this, this process. And uh, I think it's important to remember the people that fought back to try to stop it from happening. Um, one of the places I, I play at the Eastside Freedom Library from a Peter Ratchleff, and he and my, uh, my friend and mentor, Kieran Knudsen, were both deeply involved in solidarity work for the P9 strike. That was a uh, strike by workers at the Hormel facility in Austin, and I think it was 85 to 86, and they, uh, they were being offered concessionary contracts, much like happens in my union today quite often. They uh, are losing ground to non-union contractors, to non-union businesses, and they try to shove concessionary contracts down our throat rather than doing what we need to do and going out and organizing the unorganized and taking back our industries. And uh, unfortunately, the P9 workers, despite their heroic struggle, were betrayed not only by the company, but by their own union. So, this is uh, really dedicated to all the, all the rank and file militants who stand up to labor peace and labor bureaucracy to keep alive the fighting idea of what a union is supposed to be. And, and we've had a couple victories in recent years. In fact, I think the song after this will be about one of those victories. So. It's slicker, some guys know themselves and they learn not to give a damn. Poor Mel says they're always squeezed and the contract's not a charity to pay them half the wage. But I beat the West steady losing ground. They won't cut some bureaucrats. Dump it on the new hire's backside. I will give your plant the sack and gut this company town. Hard knocks on the killing floor taught us how to swing and we ain't beat even when we're beaten down. Best not pull your punches when you're coming 
for the king and you're fighting for your life in a company town. New Camp was a slaughterhouse for the pigs and workers, both on the contract gates, no way out, but hit them in the papers and put their dirty flows of cash in the magnifying glass until the day the contract passed we took back our labor. We stopped their line, they moved the slaughter And assigned the other locals over time To scab against their brothers No chance if we go alone Gotta shut it down as one But national said we go alone No calling in the others Hard knocks on the killing floor Taught us how to swing and we ain't beat even when we're beaten down Let's not pull your punches when you're coming for the king And you're fighting for your life in a company town When they brought the scabs on winter day Stopped them at the factory gate And it took more cops to clear the way Than they had in the whole station So Perkins played his favorite card Call it in the National Guard And you have to fight back twice as hard When you're under occupation So we hit the road and we spread the strain Up and down the Hormel chain And other towns join the campaign Even if it meant the blacklist Strikes a race to see who will last Between your belly and the boss's cash But the checks came in for food and gas And to get the kids their breakfast Hard knocks on the killing floor Taught us how to swing and we ain't beat even when we're beaten down Best not pull your punches when you're coming for the king And you're fighting for your life in a company town March stormed in with a picket clash The Austin streets were choked in gas But the cops and soldiers couldn't smash The spirit of P9 Get peace with the company and they put the local in to trusteeship to bust our picket line. They put the scabs at the Union Hall and stripped our murals off the wall. When the end of the strike was called, sold out a generation. The old King Pork still wears the crown to keep the packing workers down. It's hard times in a company town, hard times in the boss's nation. Oh, hard knocks on the killing floor taught us how to swing and we beat. Even when we're beaten down Best not pull your punches when you're coming for the king And you're fighting for your life in a company town Hard knocks on the killing floor Taught us how to swing and we ain't beat Even when we're beaten down Best not pull your punches when you're coming for the king And you're fighting for your life in a company town Organizing and fighting in the rural Midwest and other parts of the country, contesting the tide of reaction and keeping alive the alternatives to people.
it to shrivels all this time. It's heartless and it's cruel. For the sound of tears, we owe the Biden rule. It's pulling up the ladder and on the workers still to come. And pulling down the strength that we have won. But a union's not a monument to carve into the rocks. It's a legacy of water, or it withers on the stock. And our power's not in the power rooms, and the power's on the court. It's an action where we cut production short. comes to reap what you sow, so keep your hand on the plow, hold the line, don't give up now, we planted our seeds, now we're watching them grow, God bless you, Dick Rick, and your memory lives on, kill it on the picket that morning in the lawn, the car came screaming off the street and fixed you with its sights, and you died, fighting for our rights. Give your life for the workers, for your people and mine, and for those families toiling generations on the line. Now you're in the space between us, your spirit's in our hands, when we fight, the union takes a stand. There are those who build it down below. Time comes for us to be rising. Time comes to reap what you sow. So keep your hand on the plow. Hold the line, don't give up now. We plant our seeds, now we're watching them grow. A month out on the line, we held our picket strong. Cause the scabs of middle management couldn't carry on. For all our working lives, they brought us to our knees. We stood on those lines of unity. So whenever any worker is under an attack, you have a brother at your side and a sister at your back. An injury to one is an injury to all. The life will stand together or we'll fall. To build it down below. Time comes for us to be rising. Time comes to reap what you sow. So keep your hand on the plow. Hold the line, don't give up now. We planted our seeds, now we're watching them grow. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold the line, don't give up now. We planted our seeds. from the content of these last couple songs, generally speaking, as someone who's been in the labor movement pretty much always as a rank and file worker, uh, I tend to have a pretty <laughs> anti-bureaucratic view of your hard experience. Yeah, you need to, you need to. It's the thing we forget. Can you, you know, thank your mother for that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, actually, uh, Wendy was uh, one of the first women uh, cable splicers. We uh, yeah. all held the CWA logo. So, uh, I want to thank uh, Wendy for uh, pioneering the way for you know women and other people who aren't people who look like me uh, to get into the blue collar professions, get into the building trades, get into all that stuff. So thank you, Mother. Yeah. yeah. I want to dedicate this song to. Uh, all the, labor, all the labor bureaucrats who make sure that our unions remain very focused on the most uh, bread and butter issues possible. 
and don't get distracted by any concerns like social justice or um, political responsibility or anything like that. So here's to Doug McCarran, um, president of the EDC. <laughs> I might recognize them too. As we go, go through the table. Go through the table. Oh, you know what? Just... There we go, that's a tune, that's a key I can probably do there. Or maybe just D. I've been doing well in D today. As we go to the table, we'll bargain for your pay. The management prerogatives, we always shall obey. Because management's on the milk cow, and we're drinking at the butter. And the bosses hear us sing, bread and butter, bread and butter. We'll fight for health insurance, and we'll fight to get a raise. But not for your schools or your housing, because we know our place. And demands beyond the shop floor, you will never hear us utter. For the bosses hear us singing, bread and butter, bread and butter. If dictators bust up unions, why should we even care? We'll make a deal to build the tanks they're driving over there. Until our jobs get outsourced, once they've cleared up all the clutter. And the bosses hear us singing, bread and butter, bread and butter. We've grown out of rabble-rousers, we've grown out of union thugs. We'll settle labor grievances with a golf game and a shrug. But pass out one more leaflet, and we'll whack you with our putters. For the bosses hear us say, bread and butter, bread and butter. Hold tight to every contract, hold tight to every perk. We'll fight for every worker, as long as you're at work. But once you clock out, buddy, that's between you and the gutter, where the bosses hear us singing, bread and butter, bread and butter. When the bosses take a nap 
Oh, lock down every window, turn the lights down low. Nobody's going home until they pass what they know. They took away our dignity, they took away our pride. So we'll take it over with the boss inside. We got hard times and red lines, they got their parachutes. They turned this town into a scrap and made off with the loot. They bounced out of this ghost town. They even bounced our checks. For the bounce that we've been tightening could tighten around their necks. Oh, lock down every window. Turn the lights down low. Nobody's going home until they pay us what they owe. They took away our dignity. They took away our pride. So we'll take it over with the boss inside. Did you race against machines for a few pennies on your way? you watch the summer days go by the windows of your cage? Did you stop writing your poetry and lose life's little joys? Did you try to fill the space with faster cars and better toys? And the boys stopped selling and they closed the factory gate. Did the company and union both consign to your fate? The kisses of the guillotine we no longer dispense. But one way or another, we will have a severance. So if you're tired of the game and want an even score, remember that sweet justice lies behind the office door. Uh, that was not a joke. I am actively inciting you to kidnap your boss. Uh, go home tonight, do it, make a plan, get some friends, don't leave any fingerprints, you know. Get get what you need. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well. Wow. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be your current boss. You can. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't even have to be your boss. Um, you can just do someone else's song. Right? Um, Let's see if I can remember the lyrics of this one. Well, this is the tune of Lord Franklin. And I realized, I liked my guitar arrangement, but I can't really go sing the songs about, you know, British imperialist explorers in Canada. Even if they did do, you know, the right thing and got themselves lost. As I was walking by the sands of Greece, painted dawn coming from the east, I saw the waves in their crimson red. Over the graves of the Aegean's dead. the uh, refugees who've been trying to flee across the waters in the fortress here. What were the sides when you fled the war? On other tides, what were you searching for? 
What was the name of the God you cried? As the waves swept up o'er the side. Troy was sacked and a hero sailed His journey through generations hailed No stories now of your odyssey But their backstone to the stormy sea Gian waters roll dark and deep. They take their call and they cut and weep. There's death that waits for those who stay. And death that claims you along the way. So much of that uh, refugee crisis began with the Arab Spring and the, uh, the wars that followed it as the various dictators, especially Assad, cracked down on the protests. This next song, in its Arabic translation, was one of the anthems of those protests. Its Polish translation was one of the anthems of the Solidarity Movement in the 80s. And its original Catalan was an anthem of the anti fastest anti tankerist resistance in uh, Catalonia in the late dictatorship by Louis Lotch. This is an English translation. It's not very popular in the U.S. yet. Maybe we can change that. The, uh, the verse goes like this. But if we pull, it's sure to fall. It cannot last much more at all. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. I'll pick up my chains and pull for you. Pick up your chains and pull for me. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. We'll be free. Keep it on. This is it. Spoke to me softly one morning just before dawn. The light danced below the horizon as cars passed our door and were gone. He said, Do you see that stake there through which we're all shackled and locked? If we can't figure out how to break these chains, we'll never be able to walk. But if we pull, we'll see it fall. It cannot last much more at all. You'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us come. I'll pick up my chains and pull for you. Pick up your chains and pull for me. You'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. And we'll be free. This is a, it's been a long time now. My hands are beginning to slip Although my strength doesn't fail me That pulse still has a firm grip It's clear that the core is all rotten It weighs us down just the same 
when I feel my hands betray me, your song helps me lessen the pain. But if we pull the sea and fall, it cannot last much more at all. You'll we'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. I'll pick up my chains and pull for you. You pick up your chains and pull for me. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. We'll be free. Zizet passed away one morning. A cold wind took him from the world. God knows where, but what's clear is that I still sit here alone by the door. I watch the children pass by me. I sing without a second thought. The very last thing Zizet ever spoke. The very last words that he taught. If we pull, we'll see it fall. It cannot last much more at all. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. I'll pick up my chains and pull for you. You pick up your chains and pull for me. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. And we'll be free if we pull. We'll see it fall. Industrialisti, or the Industrial Workers of the World uh, newspaper in, uh, in Duluth. It was, you know, casual reading. Um, and, uh, I, don't really, I don't really read Finnish, but I assume that it's like English to a pen at the end of most words. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, that was bad. I apologize for that. Sorry. So. <laughs> it's perfect, right? Keep playing. No, no, no. <laughs> so anyway, we, we wrote a final verse to this, and uh, then we decided to put it to I'd Like to Buy the World a Coat, and uh, here's that song. I That's indeed, that's right. I love my flag, I do, I do that floats upon the breeze. I also love my arms and legs and my neck and nose and knees. One little shell might spoil them or give them such a twist. They would be of no use to me, so I guess I won't enlist. I love my country, yes I do, I hope her folks do well. Without our arms and legs and things, I think we look like hell. Young men, young men with faces half shot off are unfit to be kissed. I've read in books it spoils your looks, so I guess I won't enlist. <laughs> Well, if one day the call went out to build this land some homes, where families live more happily than in some dark catacomb, or if the army marched to raise a park for hikes and games and trip, and let alone their tanks and drones, why then I would enlist.
wanted to dedicate this song to um, all of the resistance, especially the anarchist political prisoners in Russia and Belarus. Everyone fighting the uh, imperialist invasion of Ukraine. And also all those organizing in Ukraine to resist the inevitable neoliberal and imperialist demands that will be expected as the uh, price and strings attached to Western aid. So here's to all the rebels of the new working class of the post-Soviet world. Father, in your shawl of black, moon shines on the water, but tonight where does the moonlight shine upon your daughters? But tonight where does the moonlight shine upon your daughters? My eldest gone into the city. Garden there she's weeding Her hands are torn by rocks and thorns And her white fingers bleeding Hands are torn by rocks and thorns And her white fingers bleeding the second lessons from the prison to the wailing sirens, her hands in chains, her hands in chains, she wears a wreath of iron. Her hands in chains, her hands in chains, she wears a wreath of iron. The youngest gone into the forest where wildflowers are growing. Black and red, their petals spread, and on the night wind blowing. Black and red, their petals spread, and on the night wind blowing. Yeah. On the wind, oh the seeds are oh searching my. and rooting where they fall. What? Soon they'll climb as wild vines over the prison wall. Soon they'll climb as wild vines over the prison wall. Okay. I think we're almost out of time here. And I'm gonna Try to end on a slightly yeah. happy note. Is there going to be a <laughs> last two songs? Yeah, there be any kind of service or anything? Playing this at the Chatterbox open mic the other night. Oh, okay. Last week was uh, the anniversary of the uh, Bloody Sunday massacre in Bogside and Derry. One of the things I've always really respected about the uh, freedom struggle in the North of Ireland is the ability of people to maintain a sense of hope and of optimism, even in the face of defeat. That's certainly something that's kept me going through all the ups and downs of the movements we've had here in America. There's a song by the Sands family. Wouldn't hear your music and your paintings were pulled down. Wouldn't heed your writings and they banned you from the town. They couldn't stop you thinking how the victory you have won. For you sowed the seeds of freedom in your daughters and your sons. In your daughters and your sons. In your daughters and your sons. Sow the seeds of freedom in your daughters and your sons. Weary smile it proudly hides the chain marks on your hands. You proudly strive to realize 
rights of every man. Though your body's bent and sore, a victory you have won. For you sowed the seeds of justice in your daughters and your sons, in your daughters and your sons. Daughters and your sons. Sow the seeds of justice in your daughters and your sons. I don't know your religion. One day I heard you pray for a world where everyone can work, children may play. Though you never had your share of the fruits that you have won. You sowed seeds of equality in your daughters and your sons, in your daughters and your sons, in your daughters and your sons. You sowed seeds of equality in your daughters and your sons. Hunted you in Belfast and they tortured you in Spain. In the Warsaw ghetto where they bound you down in chains. In Vietnam and Chile they came with tanks and guns. But you sowed seeds of resistance in your daughters and your sons. In your daughters and your sons. In your daughters and your sons. You sowed seeds of resistance in your daughters and your sons. Now your music's playing and the writing's on the wall. All the dreams you live for can be heard by one and all. Now you've got them thinking. And a victory you have won. For you sow the seeds of freedom in your daughters and your sons. In your daughters and your sons. In your daughters and your sons. You sow the seeds of freedom in your daughters and your sons. In your daughters and your sons. In your daughters and your sons. So you sow the seeds for freedom in your daughters and your sons. Yeah. Uh, can you allow me one last song? Otherwise, yes. one more? All right. But you know, I thought for a while about what to end this show with. And since you've all been so good at singing along, So now we probably got some Unitarians in the audience. How would you get to that? I have soon. It's a song that I learned as a boy in the Unitarian Fellowship. It's one I've heard some a number of times in civil rights movement since then, so. We shall overcome. We shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh, wow.
Activity, uh, you can contact me. Uh, you can probably ask my mother, she's over there, and she'll help book the thing. Uh, <laughs> am, I, am I your new agent? Well, you're, you're putting down the money to help record the album, so yes, in a way you are, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yay! Uh, and uh, also, I encourage you to uh, check out the Socialist News and Views podcast. Uh, Nick over here is uh, recording for that. Uh, so that's a great podcast, uh, lots of good content on there. What is it? Socialist yeah. News and Views. Socialist News? Good. Oh. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you.